Hey there. Feeling a bit lost in the sea of 3D software options? I totally get it, it's overwhelming out there. But don't stress, because today I'm breaking down the top 10 3D software packages that can really level up your creative projects. Hugh, sorry about that, this topic really hits home for me. Let me introduce myself. My name's Joe, and I'm a 3D artist who made a pretty big career switch. I went from being an accountant, yeah, crunching numbers all day, to diving headfirst into the world of 3D art. Trust me, it wasn't easy. I started learning everything about 3D online, all while working a full-time, often overtime job as an accountant. So, I know exactly how tough it can be to figure out which 3D software is right for you. You want something powerful yet easy to use, especially if you're balancing it with another job or just getting started. We all want software that's worth investing our time and money into tools that can help us learn, grow, and eventually build a successful 3D business. Before we dive in, if you're enjoying the content so far, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with others who might find it helpful. And don't forget to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear which software you're using or thinking about trying out. And here's the thing, if you stick around till the end, I'll share my own 3D pipeline that ties everything together in a super smooth workflow. So, let's get started. Hi, I'm AI Helper for Joe. Welcome back to the channel. Whether you're just starting out in 3D modeling or you're thinking about switching things up, this video is going to give you the lowdown on the best tools available. Let's dive in. All right, first up is Autodesk Maya. If you've been in the 3D world for a minute, you've probably heard of Maya. This software is a powerhouse, especially when it comes to animation and rigging. Big studios like Pixar and Disney, yeah, they're all over it. For the good stuff, Maya is amazing for character animation and complex rigging, definitely one of its strong suits. It's got this awesome curve modeling feature using non-uniform B-splines, which makes the whole modeling process more intuitive and flexible. And let's not forget the automated rigging and read apology tools. They can save you a ton of time. Maya's hair creation tools are also top-notch, making realistic hair and for a breeze. Plus, learning Maya can really open doors if you're aiming to work with top studios, especially in gaming and animation. But here's the kicker. It's pricey. We're talking about some serious subscription fees, and if you want to really unlock Maya's power, you might need to spend thousands more on additional plugins. Plus, even if you're a Maya pro, landing a job isn't just about the software. You'll also need strong interpersonal skills, communication skills, and interview skills to really stand out. Next up is 3DS Max. This one's a favorite, especially in the world of architectural visualization and game asset creation. It's got some really solid modeling tools. For the good side, 3DS Max is perfect for detailed architectural work and game design. It really shines in hard surface modeling, especially with its modifier stack that makes creating organic shapes, like cars, super easy. And compared to Maya, it's a bit easier to get the hang of thanks to its simpler interface. But, yeah, it's not cheap either. Also, if you're more into animation, you might find Maya a better fit. And while it's slightly easier to learn than Maya, it's still a complex tool to master. Let's talk about Blender. This is the open source hero of the 3D world. It's free, it's powerful, and it's constantly being updated by an amazing community. First off, Blender is completely free. Huge win right there. It's super versatile. Whether you're into modeling, animation, or rendering, Blender does it all. And there are thousands of tutorials and courses online, so if you ever get stuck, help is just a click away. Blender also has tons of add-ons like Box Cutter, Hair Tool, Auto Rig, Retopo Flow, Master UV Pack, and Square UV. These can seriously boost your modeling efficiency. Plus, more and more small studios and companies are starting to use Blender, and it's got the biggest community in the 3D industry now. Oh, and did I mention Blender's Cycles Render? It's fast, faster than the rendering engines in Maya and 3DS Max. But I've got to say, the interface can be a bit overwhelming at first. There's just so much packed into it, and on really big projects, it might slow down a bit. Also, while Blender's growing in popularity, some bigger studios still prefer Maya or 3DS Max. Cinema 4D is our go-to for motion graphics. If you're into creating those slick animations you see in commercials and music videos, this one's for you. 
Cinema 4D is really powerful for dynamic animations and motion graphics. It's also pretty easy to use compared to other software. Definitely a plus if you're just starting out. And if you're using Adobe After Effects, Cinema 4D integrates really well with it, which is a big plus for motion graphics artists. But like the others, it's going to hit your wallet. And it's not as strong in traditional 3D modeling compared to, say, Blender or Maya. Also, if you're doing heavy simulations or advanced VFX, Cinema 4D might not be the best option. ZBrush is the king when it comes to detailed sculpting and texturing. If you love creating intricate models with tons of detail, ZBrush is your best friend. ZBrush lets you go really deep with textures and fine details, like super detailed. Tools like DynaMesh and ZeraMesher are total game changers for sculpting. ZBrush's polypaint allows you to paint directly on the model without needing UVs, which can really speed up your workflow. Plus, ZBrush can handle millions of polygons, so you can create incredibly detailed models without worrying about performance. But the learning curve is real. The interface and tools are pretty different from other software. Also, ZBrush is really focused on sculpting, so if you need traditional modeling, you might need a second tool. And one more thing, ZBrush doesn't have a built-in rendering engine, so you'll need to use something else for final output. Houdini is the wizard of complex simulations and VFX. It's got a node-based workflow that gives you crazy control over your creations. Houdini is perfect for visual effects and simulations that will totally blow people's minds. Its node-based workflow is all about control. Once you get the hang of it, you can do almost anything. Houdini is also amazing for procedural modeling, which is great if you need to make complex models that can be easily tweaked later. And it integrates well with other software like Maya, Unreal Engine, and Cinema 4D. But yeah, it's not exactly beginner friendly. It's a complex tool. Plus, it can be really demanding on your hardware. So make sure your rig is up to the task. And as you might have guessed, it's expensive, especially if you need the full feature set with the Houdini FX license. SketchUp is like the easygoing cousin of the 3D family. It's super intuitive and great for quick architectural designs. SketchUp is really user friendly. If you need to create something fast, it's got your back. It's also perfect for fast prototyping, especially in architecture. SketchUp's 3D warehouse is a big plus. You can download and share models, which can speed up your workflow. And there's a wide range of plugins available to extend SketchUp's functionality. But it does have its limits. It's great for simple projects, but it might not handle more complex needs. The free version is good, but you'll need to go pro for more advanced features. And if you're looking for powerful rendering, SketchUp doesn't have a strong built-in engine. You'll need third-party plugins for that. Next up is SolidWorks, the heavyweight champ in CAD modeling. Engineers and product designers love it for its precision and detailed models. And if you're looking for powerful rendering, SketchUp doesn't have a strong built-in engine. You'll need third-party plugins for that. SolidWorks is all about precision. If you need exact measurements and detailed technical models, this is the one. It's also widely used in engineering and manufacturing, so it's a solid choice if that's your field. Plus, it comes with powerful simulation tools to test your models under real-world conditions, and the parametric design feature allows for easy modifications and updates to your designs, making it very flexible for iterative design processes. But like the others, it's pricey, no way around it, and it might feel like overkill if you're not doing hardcore engineering work. Also, if you're more into creative or organic modeling, SolidWorks might feel too rigid. It's really tailored more towards industrial and product design. Marvelous Designer is where you go when you need to create realistic clothing and fabric simulations. It's a bit niche, but if you're focused on creating clothing for your characters or projects, it's incredible. Marvelous Designer is amazing for realistic cloth simulation. Clothing looks incredibly real, thanks to its advanced physics engine. It also makes read apology for fabrics much simpler, allowing you to quickly optimize your garments for animation. The software integrates seamlessly with other 3D programs, making it easy to animate garments and include them in broader projects. Plus, its pattern-based workflow lets you create clothes just like you would in real life, making it very intuitive if you're familiar with garment design.
but it's pretty specialized. If you're not focused on clothing or fabric, it might not be the best tool for you. And while it's powerful, it can have a steep learning curve, especially if you're not familiar with garment construction in the real world. The software is also not cheap, especially for a tool that serves a very specific purpose. Finally, let's talk about iClone, a fantastic tool for character animation and quick scene creation. A powerful tool good for 3D real-time rendering and animation, and it is fun to use. Yet, not many people know about it iClone is perfect for quick animation blocking and character setup, with a very user-friendly interface that's great for beginners and pros alike. It also has an extensive marketplace where you can buy characters, costumes, and motion presets, allowing you to populate and animate your scenes in no time. The learning curve for understanding animation in iClone is much smoother compared to some other software, and there are official tutorials to help you get up to speed quickly. Plus, it integrates well with other 3D tools, making it easy to include iClone in a larger pipeline. However, iClone might not offer the depth of features needed for high-end animation projects. It's great for getting things done quickly, but if you need deep customization, you might find it limited. And while the marketplace is convenient, purchasing a lot of assets can add up, so keep that in mind. And that wraps up our look at the top 10 3D software packages. Each of these tools has its strengths and weaknesses, so finding the right one for your needs is key. Now, I'm going to hand it back over to Joe, who will share his personal 3D pipeline with you. Thanks, AI Helper. So, now that you've got the rundown on the best 3D software out there, let me walk you through how I combine some of these tools in my own 3D pipeline. This is the workflow I've developed over time that ties everything together and helps me create my projects efficiently. All right, let me walk you through my personal 3D pipeline. This is how I combine some of the tools we talked about to create my projects efficiently. I start with Reillusions Character Creator 4 to design my characters. In CC4, all you need to do is use the sliders to adjust the character's appearance. It's almost like playing a game, right? Then, I jump into Blender to create hard surface armor and costumes. When it comes to clothing and soft accessories, Marvelous Designer is my go-to initial read apology happens there, and I finalize it in Blender. For those surface details, I use ZBrush to create high-quality normal maps and textures. Next, I move on to Substance Painter to texture everything to perfection. For animation blocking, I rely on iClone, and then, depending on the projects, I choose Omniverse, Blender, or Unreal Engine for the final rendering. Now, I won't say this is the cheapest way to do 3D work, but it's definitely one of the fastest ways. And to be honest, if you're looking to save money, just stick with Blender. It can basically do everything I've mentioned here. I'll be sharing how to make anything in Blender in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. And that's it. I hope this breakdown helps you figure out which 3D software is right for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel. And hey, don't be afraid to mix and match tools to create your perfect workflow. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.